Whew. Huh. Just got in again. You know what I did this morning? I got up at first light in the dark. First light. And I went up the valley to look I went up the valley to look for those bachelor group of big bull elk. And I didn't find them. But I did find a uh, fairly decent mature bull with a bunch of cows. Still thinking it was rut time. And filmed them. And then me and Adventure Dog went down to the river, like way up the Stamp River. And uh, I took the camera and I and I uh, videotaped a bunch of the river and the sights and looked way up the river to show everybody. And I came back here and actually got a bunch of email, sh email shares done. And then I went to load the card in and nothing was on the card. Like, you've got to be kidding me. I sat here for an hour sharing emails and had a good chit chat. I lost it all. That sucked. So, we had to go uh, to the next city over this afternoon to do some things. And now we just got back. So, instead of sharing a handful of emails right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to send out some words of encouragement because I'm quite certain there's going to be a lot of people. I know there's a lot of people out there who are less fortunate than others right now. A lot of people may not have family to go to or have anybody to hang out with this, this week, tonight, tomorrow, and that's okay. Right, I know that's that's okay. Trust me, it's okay. And and I've been there. All right, I think maybe I'll just back it up. But this this time of year is hard on a lot of people. A lot of people just want to put their head in a closet and just wait for this week to wish for it to hurry up and get gone and done and out of my face. I've been there, and it does suck. It can suck. So I'm just letting everyone know that maybe find themselves in that position you're not alone <laughs> all right you're not alone and you're being thought of right now and there's a place right here right this minute for you to come and hang out with all of us here together right and um and i'm going to be here again tomorrow all right i'm going to i'll share a whole bunch of emails tomorrow but anyway i'm kind of losing my my delivery that I might do. My delivery is pretty good this morning because I wanted everyone to know that I've been there. I've been one of those people that just dreaded this time of year. I just wanted it to hurry up and go away because it's in your face. Everywhere you turn, it's in your face. People excited for Christmas. People getting plane tickets bought for them to go see family for Christmas. People having family come and see them for Christmas. Big turkey dinner plans, right? The whole meal deal. And there's a lot of people that that don't have that. I guess what I'm just trying to say is it's okay. It's okay. All right? And there's a lot of people here. This is a big family here. And um, I'm here. I'm still here with everyone. We're all here together. And I'm just going to let you know that I'm going to be here tomorrow. And I'm going to make sure I share a whole bunch of voices tomorrow. And um, hopefully have a little bit of some place to go for some a lot of people to go and hang out and be a part of a group and a family anyway. I don't even know if this is making any sense. I hope so. I hope it is. My brain doesn't mesh up with my lips all that well sometimes. Another thing too that I pass on too is if it's just words of encouragement. So all I got right now is words of encouragement. All right, you guys. So if you don't need them and you don't like my babble. That's all I got coming right now is words of encouragement, okay? And I've found during my lifetime when I've hit points of my existence where I just decided I was going to, I'm just done. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm alive. I've been there a couple times years back. I've been there where I've thought to myself, you know what, I don't even know why I'm here. And it's just a matter of how I was going to end it at that at one point. I didn't actually do anything, but I'm just saying, we all get to those points in life, right? And what I figured out for myself to turn around those low points, which were, was very effective for me and still is today, if I find myself getting a little dark, is I will counter it with 
making sure my body moves. I get my blood moving. I go to a gym or hike, <clears throat> get my blood moving. And I would nonstop seek out and listen to positive talking online, on YouTube, wherever. And that combo, I figured that out years back. That combo worked for me real fast. I found myself slipping into the negative, dark ugh, zone, right? So I'm passing that on. If you find yourself, you may be slipping into there these days, just try it. You don't have to have a gym membership to, to, to get physical. You can go find a flight of stairs. You can walk down the road. You can go walk from here to the top of that hill and back, right? Just get your blood moving and and search and seek out and find some positive speaking online. It's very, very effective. And I found that that combination for me would turn it around for me real, real fast. And next thing you know, I'm kick ass and I'm going out there with an attitude of killing it in a good way. All right. So try it. You find yourself slipping, feeding that dark side. And I know that dark side. Turn it around. It's all between your ears. It's just a decision, a way to turn it around, your attitude. Get your blood pumping and fill your ears with positive speaking. And I can't suggest which ones to because everybody has a different flavor of what they might resonate with. You know what I mean? Like I'd have to surf it, surf it, surf it, start listening to somebody. No, nope, that's not really working. Find another one, find another one, find another one until you honestly somebody catches your attention, you start listening. And that would be my cue to, all right, I'm gonna to listen to this for a while. So there you go, I just, I just thought I'd pass that on, all right? There's a lot of, there's nothing but good people here, there's nothing but good in the world. If you choose to see it and spread it and encourage it, feed it. And uh, I just thought I'd pass that on, all right? So, there you go. Nothing but well wishes and happy positive thoughts I'm sending out to everybody right now. It's Christmas Eve, officially. It's Christmas Day tomorrow. I will be here for anybody else that wants to be here tomorrow. I'll be here with you. And I'm going to uh, get a bunch of voices shared tomorrow. All right? There you go. Make sure you do it. Make sure you get your blood moving. And... Uh, Feed that positive light, all right? It's there, just pull it out. Now, I'll end with some of the video clips that I managed to pull off of this crazy bull elk and his cows this morning and show you what I saw. At least I can do that. Kind of sucks that I don't get to show you what I saw today at the river and everything, but oh well, another time. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a great evening. Have a great day tomorrow. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs>
Shush. Shush. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. 